In this video I'm going to show you how to review and download footage from your DVR system using our CMS software. So when you get the program open what we'll be looking for are three tabs across the top of the page. In the middle tab being our search tab. So we'll give that a click, come over to our server list and find the DVR that we're looking for and drag it in, drop it to the viewing grid as though we're going to watch our live images. Our demo DVR isn't holding a whole lot of information right now but what we do once we get into this screen, you see you'll be able to adjust your hour bar to wherever you want. Once you've done that, hit playback. Same thing with the minute bar. You can adjust it around until you find the minute you want and hit playback. This will load all of your camera images. At this point, we use our play controls down here to hit forward play, or we can go fast forward, or our pause and frame by frame, which lets us advance one frame at a time each click of the mouse. And of course, reverse play and, and reverse fast backwards, all that other good stuff. We're going to go ahead and hit play. Uh, Want to see a camera image full screen? Go ahead and give it a double click. See what's going on. If this is an event that you're looking for, this is where you take your notes. The beginning time and the end time for whatever this, this may be, take note of it. And also, what camera channels it was caught on. Once you're done with the reviewing process and you have all your notes handy, go ahead and come down here and hit close. Now we need to download it. We need to back it up using our PC. So what we do is we come here and we hit our download button. What we're going to do, the trick here, is to do our end date and time first. So make sure that your date is correct. Put in your end time. Then we'll be able to come up here and make sure that our start date and our start time are correct. Pick out whatever camera channels that you need. Um, if you need just uh, say 1, 3, and 8, you just uncheck the all box, or if you need them all, hit all. By default, it's going to send the video that you're requesting to your C drive to your temporary video folder. You'll just come on over here and hit start. Um, that's about all there is for that one. And uh, any other questions, you guys can just go ahead and give us a call, 866-283-6003.